If you want to see how long a selection is in Pro Tools, it's pretty easy to do. Just make a selection, of course, and look up here to our heads up display, and we can see that this is four bars long. We can, of course, see where it starts, where it ends. Obviously, that's going to change if I move it. And this is connected to our main counter here, whatever we have selected. So, for example, if I want to know how long this is in minutes and seconds, so like minutes and seconds, I can see this is exactly eight seconds, of course. This is going to work on more than just MIDI clips. I could obviously choose uh, you know, an audio clip. I know this is one minute and five seconds long. Starts at about 12 seconds there. Move it around. Now, if you work with video, you might want to use time code. So we can select time code and see how long that is, where it starts, where it ends, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Any kind of uh, selection that you make. And of course, we can make a selection as such as well, just by making that selection. I know that this selection here, this whole area is about five minutes and seven seconds long. Okay. Minutes and seconds, we can see that. Or we can go samples. We can also show a sub counter. So because we work in music a lot, we might want to have our bars and beats there for the sub, and then we can just change this one around uh, however you want. All right. So that is how to see, you know, how long a selection is here in Pro Tools, just by coming up to your counter, select whatever the type of counter you want. And of course, make a selection either by selecting a clip, finding out how long that is up here in the length, seeing the start and the end, or making a selection uh, as such.